Thank you. Um, and uh, another two questions. First, uh, let's ask a, a hypothetical question. If this crisis is going to continue for another six months, what advice and you know, suggestions would you give to the school leaders and parents and all stakeholders? Uh, well, we've, uh, we've obviously Which thought this- kind of the situation uh, in America is still escalating. We don't know where we end. You know, the governor just said uh, the schools will be shut down and will not reopen until May the 4th. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the first thing we have to do is the sort of the, the caveat that I always make is that you can't hold schools responsible as a sort of the universal solution for all human ills. And, you know, we cannot deliver everything. Um, you know, when there's a national crisis, it, every agency of government and uh, families, communities, um, church groups, whatever it might be, they all have to pull together to try and support the, the well-being, the mental health, um, as well as the physical health of, uh, of the population. Schools will play their part. Um, and I think, uh, you know, schools, one of the things that schools create is a strong center in the middle of children's lives, a place where they feel connected and secure. And I think that's what we have to do if the thing goes on for a longer period of time. Um, clearly, there's uh, adaptions that there needs to be pacing. We can't just simply bang on and on and on and on. There needs to be the rhythm of school life. So, you know, we're taking a week's break. Uh, um, in a couple of weeks time um, that must continue to happen but I, I, I sense that the school will will have to become a strong center um, for for the learning of the children we will get better and better I think at delivering the curriculum online um, as you know there's a plethora of ed tech companies that are throwing out solutions um, many of them free of charge um, and it's we are experimenting with some of those I, I think you'll begin to see increasingly impressive practice happening in many, many schools as, uh, as different solutions are found. Um, so I, in that sense, I, I think there will be a, a sort of a, an organic generation of solutions that, that, that schools will find. And if it does go on for six more months, I think human ingenuity, teacher ingenuity is such that we will probably see um, genuine um, movements forward. But I, I, as I said earlier in, in the conversation, it will not replace the, the necessity of a human interactive community and I think we all will be pushing as hard as we can to get our schools reopened so we can get our community back together that is where children learn politeness and engagement where they learn the, the, the niceties of, of human of being human um, and uh, we do know that one of the things that happens online is it can create an, an independence a curtness that actually needs to be addressed and uh, so yeah, I think we're all we're all looking forward to the day when we reopen, but I, I am quietly confident that the educators will find solutions if it does go for the longer period.